Are you ready to be amazed by the latest development in artificial intelligence technology? Japan has created a female AI robot that is capable of getting pregnant and giving birth. This groundbreaking innovation in robotics is revolutionizing the way we think about reproduction and technology. Japan has been at the forefront of the robotics industry for decades, with a pioneering spirit that has led to numerous breakthroughs. While the West focused on AI algorithms in the abstract, Japanese roboticists believed in embodying artificial intelligence in physical form. This innovative approach has resulted in the development of robots that can offer companionship, nurse and befriend the elderly and sick, fight fires, carry heavy loads, and even perform physical therapy on patients. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Japanese market is their comfort with embracing robots as part of the family. This is due in part to the country's religious groundings. Unlike the Judeo-Christian tradition, the Shinto religion has animist beliefs that ascribe spirit and personality to inanimate objects. Thus, the Japanese are more willing to embrace robots as companions than their Western counterparts. With their most advanced iterations, many of the robots being developed can perform several functions, making them incredibly versatile. It's no wonder that Japan is often referred to as the cradle of the humanoids, having developed the first humanoid robot in the 1970s and many iterations since then. Japanese roboticists have paved the way in realizing the dream of creating robots that can interact with humans in a meaningful way, and their influence on the industry continues to be felt today. So before moving towards the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit at the bell icon for future uploads. A physical artificial body anthropologist jennifer robertson sheds light on the unique relationship between japanese culture and automation in japan shintoism a native animistic belief holds that every living and non-living entity is infused with vital energies deities or essences called kami this includes robots which are seen as a natural part of the world Unlike Western cultures that draw a clear line between artificial and natural, the Japanese view on this matter is fluid. In fact, Japanese folklore is full of stories about objects that come to life. According to Shintoism, humans have the power to shape nature, including robots, and that the true essence of any object or living being can be found through design. This unique cultural belief is the reason why Japan has been a leader in robotics, developing robots that can offer companionship, nurse and befriend the elderly and sick, fight fires, carry heavy loads, and perform physical therapy on patients. Great Suspicion In Western culture, robots are often portrayed as job eliminators or dehumanizing machines, but the Japanese have a different view. In fact, Japanese society views robots as kind and friendly superheroes, saviors after the destruction of World War II. This image is deeply embedded in the culture, dating back to the creation of Astro Boy in 1951 by Osamu Tezuka, a physician and illustrator. Tezuka wanted to create a creature that was the opposite of Pinocchio, a boy who becomes a thing, as opposed to a thing that becomes a real boy. This mindset that machines are caring and giving continues to this day in Japan, where robots are seen as potential lifelong companions. While American AI has focused on military and marketing purposes, Japanese AI has focused on creating robots that can act as caretakers, friends, bodyguards, and historians, recording and memorizing everything that a person experiences. With humanoid female robots being developed in Japan, some even wonder if they could be programmed to get pregnant and give birth to child robots of their own. The idea of a mechanical robot giving birth may sound like science fiction, but many of the technologies we use today started out as seemingly absurd concepts. Robots, machines that replicate human actions and activities, are often associated with sci-fi movies and futuristic dystopias. However, as technology advances, our understanding of robots will evolve from purely mechanical devices to hybrid mechanical organic contraptions and even pure synthetic life forms. The future of robotics lies in biorobotics, a field that uses biological organisms to develop new technologies. The possibilities are endless from cybernetics and genetic engineering to biomimicry and synthetic biology. With the help of 3D printers, it may even be possible to create human tissue, stem cells, and organs, leading to a revolution in the field of medicine. 
As we move towards a future where machines are grown rather than created, artificial intelligence will be replaced by degrees of synthetic intelligence, resulting in a better and more genuine kind of intellect. The biorobotics revolution is about to begin, and it's an exciting time to be alive. With the famous cloning of Dolly the sheep in 1996, the science of cloning became widely known and accepted. Since then, hundreds of other animals, from camels and dogs to cows and monkeys, have been successfully cloned. But what about human cloning? It's been long considered a logical extension of animal cloning, offering the possibility of an identical genetic clone of any individual. However, it's important to note that there is a distinction to be made between natural clones and manufactured clones, which are like identical twins in humans and other species. The three forms of artificial cloning include gene cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. While the ethical implications of human cloning are still being debated, the technology and science behind cloning continue to advance and evolve. Artificial womb technology has been around for over 60 years, with the first invention by Emanuel Greenberg in 1955. In the mid-1990s, Japanese researchers successfully nurtured goat babies using a machine containing artificial amniotic fluid for weeks. Recent advances in neonatal intensive care have pushed the lowest gestational age for human embryos to survive down to less than 22 weeks, about halfway through a typical 40-week pregnancy. This promising technology has opened up new possibilities, as an artificial uterus could be used as a replacement organ in a variety of ways. Although it may seem far-fetched, the science behind artificial womb technology has advanced significantly and could potentially transform the way we approach gestational care in the future. With advances in robotics and artificial intelligence, we're edging closer to a world where robots can not only imitate human behavior, but also experience the joys of motherhood. Whether it's a baby human or a baby robot, the possibility of a child-bearing robot raises all sorts of ethical and societal questions. However, one thing is clear, as technology continues to advance, we're sure to see even more exciting and unexpected developments in this field. In conclusion, the development of an AI robot that can simulate pregnancy and childbirth raises many intriguing questions about the future of technology and human relationships. While some may find the idea of a robot getting pregnant and experiencing motherhood to be unsettling or even unethical, others see it as a fascinating innovation that could have far-reaching implications for the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible with technology, it is important to consider the potential consequences and ethical implications of these advancements. What do you think? Are you excited about the possibilities of AI pregnancy and childbirth, or do you have concerns about the ethical implications of this technology? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Also, make sure to turn on the notifications bell so you'll be informed of our future uploads. Until our next meeting.